Firstly, I would advise anybody with a heart condition to no longer continue with this podcast. As for tonight, we will enter the world of the supernatural and the unknown. So do not adjust your headsets. Just draw your curtains and prepare to be entertained as we welcome you to the Halloween edition of the Yaki Podcast. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh, that was beautiful. Welcome I hope that wasn't a bit... I hope it wasn't too scary. Well, <laughs> welcome to uh, episode... I'm going to call this 17, I think, because we, we didn't really... We, 17 isn't kind of... Official. Official, is it? We'll, well talk no, about they're that the bit. they're the specials, aren't they? Yeah, they're the mucky ducks. Yeah, I'm gonna podcast. call this episode fit 17 slash the Halloween special because we are nearing Halloween. When is Halloween, guys? Hello, we are recording on a Wednesday night, Sunday? and it's on Sunday. No, it's Monday 31st. Oh, it's on Monday. Probably could have been the Halloween special. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, so, so it'll come out special. on Halloween. Ooh. Oh. Very well timed. Very well timed. Look at the set we've got, by the yeah, way. Yeah, so how Shut long did this up. take to put together? <laughs> Don't know, about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you take, you're trying to, you're so trying to play it up. <laughs> <laughs> you told us about an hour before the podcast. So right. basically, I messaged him like, oh my God, it's Halloween coming up. We need to do a Halloween edition. Immediately, I buzz off Halloween. Um, I went to work, forgot my headphones because I come straight to Dave's after. Forgot my headphones, forgot my pumpkin. Forgot my fancy dress. Just gonna carve a pumpkin for today. Yeah. Well, yeah. <coughs> I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Well. By the way, if you, yeah, yeah. if you are listening to this, like you have to look at YouTube to really feel the full effect of this Halloween vibe. <laughs> yeah. Of on. this, <laughs> our set design in all its glory. All That's our efforts beautiful. will go uh, unscathed. Are we gonna turn the lights off? Mid- turn the lights on. Sorry. Mid- I don't know. Do you, I reckon. What do you think? I think. It's I don't know. Well, what's it looking like? <laughs> I quite like it. Like We've this. got subtle candle tones looks across our spooky. spooky Looking faces. I don't know whether we could like uh, make this a proper Halloween edition. No, like we say, we're just uh, this morning. I was like, guys, we need to do a Halloween edition. Why can't we make this a proper Halloween edition? Because we need to keep it Halloween themed. Well, we'll give it a good go. We are going to go Halloween themed. I have okay. got quite a few tricks up my sleeve, and I'm sure Trick. Softy. Well, okay, okay, we'll put better because we'll go like down the Halloween ghosts, and then we'll move into like conspiracies and. Stuff like that. How about I'm sure that? we've got a lot to talk about, to be honest. Mate, I've got, I got a load of subjects. I just don't know. Yeah. think they're uh, they're Halloween themed. Well, what I did want to do, we can we make probably can do for next time, is I wanted people with ghost stories or, or supernatural stories to actually, I wanted us to ring them live on the podcast and get their story across and then we could discuss. Um, but... That didn't happen. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, d- didn't you get like two stories? Or something? Yeah, I got a couple of good stories, but then like we're not ringing dad and get your dad to tell his one. I said to him I was going <laughs> to ring him, and he was like, "Well, I'll turn my phone off then." <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they all don't want to sound like nutcases. Yeah, no. I suppose it is quite a private thing, really. To be honest, having a weird spiritual um, encounter. It depends. Yeah. It's quite it depends a private. It depends thing. if it's a private thing. Did he have sex with the spirit? I know someone that's <laughs> had sex with us. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Uh, don't I'm get turning this it's down, It's a Halloween yeah. edition. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. You don't know anyone who's... Uh, no, you know someone who said they've had sex with a Well, I, I, I cross the line between reality and <laughs> in my own head sometimes. So I think Please he said he saw an this. alien and it was a woman and it came into his room. So then I think I went off on one and was like, oh, yeah, I bet you shagged her, didn't you, mate? I bet oh, you know, right, okay, yeah, What yeah, is yeah. your free tits, did she? Yeah, 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 yeah I get you. <laughs> what my name is Centaur. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. That's uh, that's our first clip of the day, isn't it? What was it, that weird guy who thinks he can channel I can't oh. remember his name it was a Louis Theroux special I mean. Louis Theroux special um, yeah it's a chap who thinks he can channel actually he's like the gatekeeper for uh, our Earth's communications to um, supernatural aliens or, or other life in space he's proper 60s aliens though isn't he oh my god his like wife fully believes foil. it I think we've shown this already anyway Martians yeah. we'll do it it's <laughs> Halloween edition we'll bring this back up because it's uh, topical but um, Santo Canto. all he actually does connect. is say connect 
He says um after every um, word. I'm going to connect. Uh, this mm. is um. going to come. Central <laughs> control. Um. I'm going to yeah, come but, on but, you. But even if he could talk to aliens, what's to say they speak our language? So he's already fucked up by saying this is central control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It's so 60s, though. That's the best thing about it. You can tell he's brought up around like that era of aliens. Yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't sound like that if he did it now. It wouldn't. It sounds it'd it'd like completely different. It'd be like... <laughs> like signs. <laughs> 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 Which it is, I think, the best alien noise I've ever heard um, in signs. When it first was like coming over the radio, and it's like... <laughs> what is that? Is that in signs? Oh, I think the best yeah, one's the uh, fourth kind. The I language dare watch it. I dare watch mm. it. <laughs> Do you know what? I, uh, I, I almost got sold by that. I was like, oh, man. Fourth it's going to be some kind. real footage, man. Like, I yeah. thought this was it. And then it turns out, oh, well, I'll just read it for everyone. They, that woman who's in it is meant to be in the psychiatric ward. She's got an IMDb. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of fucking ruined that. Yeah. IMDb <laughs> ruined it for everyone. Can you remember when we were all were uh, um, a bit more naive to that kind of script, right? Yeah. And um, <coughs> fucking, uh, what do you call it, Blair Witch came out and we're like, oh my God, it is actually found footage. Like, what the fuck? And they've pieced this together. I think it's because we were kids around then as well. But I also think that kind of film hadn't been made before and no one's actually, yeah. no one had done that kind of thing before. And it works for X amount of time, doesn't it? So yeah, you can get away with and like um, I'm sure they inevitably knew they were going to get found out. Yeah, yeah, but like they they pushed it as far as they could go. I mean, t- this is my problem with films these days. I don't know where us as a um, generation and as filmmakers and what have you. I think we constantly expect like a twist or a plot twist or something so dramatic. Is that because we're kind of exhausting a lot of avenues of films that have already been gone before? Do you know what I mean? Like the first time you saw um, Sixth Sense, you're like, shit, he's dead. Never yeah, saw yeah. that come in, ever. <coughs> ever since I that think film. You made a good point there because I always, ex- the only films I really love now have some kind of, not like Inception madness to it, if you know what I mean. Like I kind of like out of there style films, you know, yeah. really abstract films. Now, if I watched like a film and the ending was really happy, I'm like, oh. yeah. Well, that was a really shit film. It looked nice, but the story was shit. Like I can't, I can't deal with just happiness now. Yeah. Like it has to be a really panicky. Like if I was Bruce Willis in that, I'd be like, what? And that's the ending. Like, like, yeah. Like you know that kind of like fear afterwards. Like he's dead. Oh shit! And yeah. that's the end of the film. Like God. those kind of twists and scary endings. Now I feel that's like kind of a cop out. Or like the same cop out is like it's all a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, now, yeah, now no, it is. No, yeah, yeah. Not now he's been done. Yeah. Not that specific ending, but what I'm saying is like, like Inception, they kind of leave you hanging with the thing twisting. Didn't Ghost have uh, a similar kind of ending? Ghost. What with? Well, we knew he was a ghost. Oh, we? did we know he was a ghost all along? Yeah. No, she I didn't. I I can't remember Ghost then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just remember the in Ghost. The only scene I remember is not the most famous scene where it's the pottery scene. Yeah. But the one where he's pushing a coin up the door. Oh or something. yeah. I remember that. I don't know why that sticks out in my brain. Sexual. Okay, <laughs> then if we stick with this, what is the scariest movie you've ever seen? Okay. You c- by the way, like I don't find movies that scary anymore because I'm older. Yeah, I when don't you was find a kid, films but but uh, there's got to be some films that stick out in your head. One that got me recently was Mama. Anyone's ever watched really? that? Really? Like, my sister says that's really scary, but I can't imagine it being scary. Going, meh, meh. What? Meh, meh. Have you seen What's it? What's it called? No, I have M A M A. I think your bummer will be like a cigar cutter, my yeah. friend. Well, it would be, because for the past 10 years, I haven't watched a scary It's film. Del Toro as well, so, you know, it's... Mate, I haven't just seen this. Like, there's a trailer for it? The trailer's, trailer, shit. The trailer's I, shit. I went in uh, it thinking it was going to be the shit. The trailer did And look. I watched it, and I was like, oh, that's actually... Kind of scary. See, I'm not a massive fan of scary films, but one that sticks out for me, or a few actually, is one of them is Pet Cemetery. Not seen that. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, let me try to get a flip in. Can we see a trailer? Is it an 80s film? Pet yeah, Cemetery? It's, like, yeah. it's really. I know the Ramones song. I don't know it's a famous song. I mean, I've watched yeah, all the Freddy, like, um, Freddy Krueger ones you used to scare me, the Elm Street. Oh, man, oh, there we go. When I was a kid. Oh, let's get some old fashioned trailers uh, on the go. Yes, mate. Let's see this. Oh, well done. Oh, look at that VHS star. Oh, I love it. I can't get rid of my VHS now. Oh, yeah, bastard. What is this place? <laughs> what is this place? Yeah, I remember this <laughs> one coming out. I want to see something like this. I might watch this on Halloween. I think she got hit by a car and you and Mr. 
Yeah, 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 it's where they like bury their pets and they come back alive. All so was this aimed at like 18 plus? Like, was this meant to be scary? Yeah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I think so. Yeah, then they bury a person. Oh, so it does get a bit more intense. Yeah. The King of Terror. And then, uh, and then I think they bury his daughter because he can't handle her being dead or something. Come back to me, yeah. This is like, oh, this is bringing back the anxiety attacks. It's Steve again, I don't know that. Ugh! Oh yeah, the cat comes back all fucked up. It looks really shit now, like, watching that. <laughs> it looks good though. Like, in a shit way, it does look good. All the time, the pit symmetry was behind it all. <laughs> Everything was on an Indian burial ground as well back yeah. in the day. I think uh, Gremlins was the one that got me. What, Gremlins like scared kid. you when you were young? Gremlins yeah. is scary? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. It, um, Terminator scared the shit out of me when I was a little boy. I come oh, downstairs. Oh, shit, yeah. Termin the intro to terrible. Terminator, um, when it, all the world's exploded. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that music. I come downstairs, mum and dad were like watching TV, and I just stayed downstairs for 10 minutes, saw that intro, and... I think it stayed with me for the rest of my life, especially in my, my young years. I was like, the end of the world? Bombs? Nuclear bombs? It fucking hell. I hours. think the bit that scared me in uh, Terminator was when he, when the uh, liquidified dude in Terminator 2 was going around like murdering people. Yeah, with a... Just like... <laughs> and then he's pretending to be the mum in the kitchen. The oh, that, the yeah, that's really freaky. Freaked me the fuck out. My favourite like, scene in Terminator was... Dinner. Oh. <laughs> 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 my like, favourite scene in ter ter Terminator where he's looking for Sarah Connor. And I think I think some uh, kill Sarah O'Connor or something because I haven't seen Terminator in years. Because Sarah O'Connor and she goes the first one. Yes, and then doesn't he blow her away with a <laughs> shotgun? <or something? laughs> Classic Arnie. <laughs> Sarah Connor. Yes. Well, the, w the other ones when he like sees that flash of like in the nuclear thing and then people's skins like flown away. Oh, They're yeah. like, ah, ah, and now he's in slow mo like the skins <laughs> folding away and then like the skeletons left behind. <laughs> that was terrifying. And that's got me thinking like, did Arnold Schwarzenegger write those like one liners? Like, if he blew her, did, did he like blow her away and then did he go like, that's the best blowjob you've ever given? <laughs> <laughs> what, he like kind of ad-libbed it. <laughs> yeah, do you think he made them up or do you think they're in his script and then he's just stole that as his thing? Oh, it's just weird to think that man was a governor as well. Yeah, I'd rather him than bloody Trump. <laughs> he's pretty down to earth, isn't he? From what I see. Yeah, he's a dude. Of course he's a dude. Oh, I don't know, he freaks me out when he's on about like whenever Did you see his new film? Does the a documentary about Pumper. Maggie. <laughs> was it Maggie? Maggie, yeah. Maggie. Oh, no, it looked good. It's all right, good. yeah. It was just a little bit slow. That was the only problem. The Ring. That scared Check Maggie the out, shit. Dave. I think you'd like that. Maddie. His Maggie. Daughter, his daughter gets bit, and then he has to like look after her. It's like a, <clears> It looked like kind of like the Sundance kind of like slow. Yeah, it was really well shot. It was like film. a serious zombie film. Yeah, it looked really cool. Um, oh. The Ring was the scariest, the last scariest film I watched. That's a long time ago. It scared the living shit out of me. Uh, the ring did. I never found the ring scary. Oh god, it scared. The I got kind of bored of that. My my one. That I just didn't me get that a video would get you. No. Like the most the most recent thing that scared me, I have to admit, is uh, Paranormal Activity. Yeah, I haven't watched. Yeah, it they were good actually. To be because fair. you can't. Uh, it, it's for me. It's about the things you don't see, not the things you do see. Yeah. Like when you see a scary like alien on screen for about the seventeenth time, you're like, no, nah, well, I'm not scared of this now. I it's like the shit that you can't see, like like a woman being dragged up the wall. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or like, oh my god. And you're yeah. like, whoa. It's the subtleties as well, of like you know, when the cameras like panning, those little things mm. like changing. Yeah. And stuff. Like they, yeah, they definitely. they kind of just focused on that thing, but which made it scary. But I think to make the perfect horror film, you either great combination of that stuff that they're doing there. And let your mind fill in the blanks. Yeah, and do like a more actual film of that kind of stuff. If yeah. You know what I mean? Like a, like a real film with those kind of subtleties of weird shit going on. Because I think they kind of focus, after a, like the third one, you're like, oh, yeah. it's kind of done now, if you know what I mean. The easy camera tricks that anyone could do with a camcorder. Yeah, for sure. Um, Jaws <laughs> even followed the same premise as that, as in like, um, you don't actually see the shark until right near the end. Like, yeah. It's the doo-doo. I've never seen Jaws. It's fear of the unknown, really. Yeah, you don't actually see the shark, do you? No. Too much. Not for ages. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is. It's those little clips and little sort of is that it's your imagination's the scariest thing, basically. Definitely. You know? it's like your, your mind fills in all the blanks. I always find that. It's like um, with um, Stranger Things, which was awesome. You didn't see the Demogorgon for ages. Is that what it's actually called, by the way? The Demogorgon. Yeah. The yeah. Demogorgon. It's a real thing. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. Apparently, a Demogorgon's a real beast. They haven't made that um, name up. 
It's a real. Well, the kids named it from the game, didn't they? Yeah, Probably, didn't they? Oh, I they that. did. Yeah, no, they were playing that like. Uh, no one actually named it the Demogorgon. They, the kids named it. Didn't they, they named it the Demogorgon. Yeah. But I googled it, and a Demogorgon's an actual beast. Yeah, it's because it's from it's their like. Can Dungeons you Google that? Can game. we actually have a look at that, please? If there's an actual Demogorgon. Yeah, because I'm sure it's an actual mythical beast. I don't think Stranger Things made it up. I'm sure I googled this. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. Uh, yeah, well, it's from it's sal- It looks like here from Wikipedia. Can I have a look? Yeah, it says it's a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Oh, so it yeah. is from Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. It looks like it's got two monkey eggs and a monkey head. It's got octopus arms <laughs> and chicken legs. Yeah, it looks pretty weird. That is just a mixture of three different animals. That is not creative. <laughs> that is not creative. Rob just ripping on this Demogorgon. Spliced. Logo. That so is what's a splicer. It say, what's it say about the Demogorgons? The Demogorgon is a powerful oh. demon prince. He is known as the Prince of Demons, a self-proclaimed title he holds by virtue of his power and influence, which, in turn, is a, t- is a title acknowledged by both mortals and his fellow demons. The Demogorgon was also named as one of the greatest villains in D&D history by the final print issue of Dragon. Uh, Whatever Dragon is. Well. Has anyone, um, have, uh, have you two ever gone into uh, D&D? Uh, I played it a bit. It's a bit... As a games designer, I am not fully into board games that go yeah. into that much depth. I think they're a bit... Let's make a video game if we're going to do it. No, I'm the same, boys, to be fair. Yeah. I'd like a board game. I like to play got, like, a family points board and game. Hit points and it's like, oh, God. I can have a UI like that in a video game. If you've got to write all that shit down, there's no point. Uh, um, I think it's a bit too in depth for me. For yeah, it's all. D&D. It's a bit imagination y, isn't it? But I don't know. I'd like to give it a go. I've never actually gave it a go, so I don't know. Do you remember that game? It's a lot of like pretending. Oh, what was that game that came out with a DVD that you had to put in and play? Uh, that was. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, I used to have that. Um, uh, they're like little gravestones with your counters and stuff. Uh, what the fuck was that called? Uh, it was it come out in the 90s? 90s game. Yeah. I've still got one in my garage. We can play that. I think um, you've told me about this oh before. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm What's sure you did. I didn't know what it uh, was. The Gatekeeper, is it? The Gatekeeper is a version. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, let me just grab my Nightmare, phone. Fright Night, Atmosphere. Atmosphere is the one I'm thinking of. Atmosphere. Oh, my God. That's weird. So it's like a board game, Rob, that came out in the 90s that had a DVD, and you could choose whether... What, didn't you have to go down like paths or routes or something? Yeah, essentially. Atmosphere board. Lost my phone. Game. Yeah, there it is, Rob. I can't see it. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Atmosphere. That looks like... Um, That's what I had, top right. Palpatine. That's the version. It does look like... You're like you've shown me this before, Soft. Yeah, I think we have checked it out. Yeah, atmosphere. Look at that, my boy. Wow. <laughs> Oh, For mate. some reason, it reminds me of you never get the Goosebumps book, and yeah. you could go through the book and choose oh, which direction you choose your you alternative have to go. endings and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. It's man. a real pretty game as well, I thought. Uh, so, what was the Goose like? What was the Goosebumps book like? Do you remember Goose? Yeah, mate. Um, the choose your own endings, the Goosebumps books. Mum used. When we used They're to really camp thick, in. They? Yeah, when we used to get. It was, the alternative ending ones, they're amazing. So, like, you get a certain way. It's like, do you choose door number one or do you choose to go outside? Option number two. I was two. never a fan of Goosebumps. I had some of the books. I just didn't find it that scary. Yeah, did you not enjoy it? Look um, at the Goosebumps books, man. They are pretty, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are really pretty. So are, it's this fucking stunning. Guy. Yeah, that is right up my street, like neon drips. Yeah. Oh, that is just my kind of art. I love the artwork. One. I can't. I can't fault the artwork. Did you yeah, not enjoy the series then, Sophie? It was the TV stuff that put me off the comics. Oh, I enjoyed it. Apparently, the new film's pretty shit. Is it Which Jack Black? Isn't Jack Black in it or something? Yeah, I think he was, wasn't he? <coughs> he's doing some remakes at the minute because he's doing yeah. Jumanji with the Rock, isn't he? Oh, they're not remaking Jumanji, are they? Yeah, they're doing it now. Oh, piss off with the Rock! Don't <laughs> fucking ruin <laughs> Jumanji. It wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> like I said, they've run out of ideas. Oh, mate. that has pissed me right off. <laughs> the Rock yeah, and Jack Black. It is a stellar That combo. is offensive to Robin Williams. <laughs> that, in fact, they are shitting on his grave right now. Uh, what is Jim? That is actually really <laughs> offensive. You know it's going to be so bad if The Rock's in it as well. Yeah, I mean, I love The Rock. Oh, shit, I love so. The Rock and I love Jack Black. I, hope, I do hope it's going to be good. 
Oh, it's Who's that little chode in as well? There you go. Nick I think Jonas. that's the only picture. Who's that red-haired maiden? Who is that swell, <laughs> fine-looking, smooth? Oh, has it got? Who else has it got in it? Has it got uh, Kevin Hart in it as well? Yeah. Yeah. Who's doing everything? With Nick Jonas. Bit. Who's that smooth, sh- well-shaven young chap? Whoa. I wonder <laughs> if you could buy... I wonder if you could actually buy... Who like, is that nice, smooth slice of ivory there? I wonder if you could actually buy the Jumanji game like that. I think that, that the board game comes like that. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, uh, Is it like a wooden box, though? Because I'd love to have the wooden box. I would. All dusty and dirty as Is well. there a trailer out for it already? Maybe, they can't be. I'm sure they've only just started making it. Yeah, I don't. It looks are. tacky just from that photo. Yeah. Doesn't it? Why do they? Why? Why does it ruin it? The problem with the rockets is they could is it make it good. Yeah, you could if you got you like can a. Make things imagine good. getting some decent director like yeah. JJ to do like a Jumanji film. Because like it would Westworld's be, meant to be a remake. That would be a decent remake. Yeah. But I know when you said The Rock, it's going to be piss poor. Because it's going to be. It's slap. probably well aimed at like. Uh, like twelve year olds. Yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, but the original Jumanji was kind of like aimed to all. Well, like a family film. Yeah, nineties films like that always had an edge of a bit of a bit scary, a bit jumpy, a bit serious. You don't get that anymore, do you? You don't. It's too PC. It's too yeah. like they're scared of offending or whatever. They used to be scary, like Gremlins and stuff like that, or ET. It kind of made you jump a bit. Yeah, it? and it was freaky, a bit freaky. And I think that's what yeah, yeah, I kind of kept you engaged. Because like Stranger Things, they kind of captured that. The grainy did, yeah. look of like the eighties towards the early two thousands, you know. Like yeah. Between then and there was like it well, just I say it faded out late nineties, didn't it? But well, I think it, it just looked like ET to be honest. Yeah, those they're the looking films like kids in the film, which is always good. You don't really see any decent On bikes, kid actors anymore. Is, yeah. You just want to punch a child actor nowadays. Yeah. It's rare to find a decent child actor. The clothing. Yeah. No, they nailed they, it. They kind of put them in boring clothes now. There's no style anymore. They kind of like the kids were like leaders of fashion. I thought was that like though the because 80s. obviously in the eighties they were probably like, oh they're just dressing like they normally do. But now it's nostalgic. So no, say in I another think, twenty I think they years, they did look kind of cool because kids still kind of look that cool. That they don't make kids yeah. look cool anymore. Now they all just look like let's um, try and gender neutrify them, which I think is okay. But there's a point where you're just making everyone look like that, and there's, there's no. I mean, I'm not being offensive to gender neutral people. I'm being offensive to general <laughs> neutral fashion. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but nu- well, neutral is gender quite neutral fashion because I don't know where, what that is. Pe- two genders wearing the same clothes. Ah. Oh. Okay. That are built for both. I think the plain blank colours, no standing out. The style at the minute and what's in fashion just is just beige to. and baby pink. <coughs> like everyone on Made in Chelsea Sorry, and, and Essex and all that stuff, they're wearing. And if you go on ASOS, it's baby pink and beige. Grey yeah. and black. Yeah. There's no kind of... It's not very um, It's not very colourful, um, the fashion at the minute, is it? Yeah, but I think girls look really cool nowadays. Yeah, they still look cool. I and think girls are looking off, cooler than girls when I was young. But I'm, also like I'm talking about what's on trend at the minute. Like, If you look around, like girls look trend. kind of 80s now anyway. They've kind of got like the hair done up with like a little bun on. Yeah. Uh, long socks or like... Um, High waisted stuff and jumpers, loads of jumpers, jumpers about yeah. without the hoods. Yeah, and like that's real kind of eighty style with like yeah. a scrunchie in the back. Yeah, <coughs> I mean there are some stylish chicks about. Uh, Dudes look a bit boring nowadays, I think. Yeah, like I say, what I was getting across was like if you go on ASOS, go on Top Man, go on any of them kind of like uh, big kind of companies online, and th- there is a very limited color palette. Yeah. How have we got to this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Having a debate about well, I think it's important. <laughs> I think I think the visuals in films nowadays have kind of been forgotten and it's all about... Yeah. More about the shock factor or who's in it. Yeah, like, the let's get the rock the in. Like, what happened to making stuff look pretty? Like, I yeah. think Walking Dead looks stunning. Yeah. But then it's shot like a piece of shit. Is I it? Think, yeah, I think it's shot awfully. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, the know. grain on it is just terrible. I think I th- they've gone for that kind of low-res look, haven't they? It's you see how grainy and dirty yeah, the shots are. Yeah, I think they've gone for that. Look. I don't know. I never really uh, as like thought to myself, "Oh, this looks shit, though." Yeah, but some. Yeah, but it looks that's dark probably shit. why. Like um, when you do watch them, like I watched um, Stranger Things, I was like, "Wow, the camera angles are good." Here. Yeah, and so you notice it when it's good. Yeah, you don't yeah. notice it when it's bad, so you don't comment. I don't know. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's just a taste thing. You know what? Yeah, what, what you kind of like. Nah, but I think I think I think what that what's happened with Walking Dead? They've gone down the route of like this is a long series, Hollyoaks, and they got a little lazy. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's an everyday thing. Let's 
Talking of Walking Dead, the latest... They have, uh, like, the odd beautiful shot. You're like, wow, why don't they capture that all the do time? Do 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 do. And there's some controversy about Walking Dead at the minute, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to give anything no, away. No, because I haven't seen it. Because Rob hasn't seen it. Um, uh, boys, but it was just a hard watch, and people are losing their shit. And I don't quite understand why. I don't get it. No. I think it's because every series has started with that slow one, and then they build back into it again, whereas this one's connected on from the last series. What? It's just gone, bam, first episode, and everyone's like, oh! <gasps> Is that not a good thing though? That's like that's what I presume. Like, yeah, you know. No, no, that's just, yeah, that's just why everyone's bitching and moaning about it. Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm surprised they haven't. <laughs> too gruesome. Yeah, that's it's what they're it. saying. They're saying it's too gruesome. But I was like, it's The Walking Dead. What do you yeah. expect? Yeah. Have oh. you read the comics? Like, neither have I. But I know, I know, kind of like. Where do you the draw the line though? Like, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, where do you draw so the anyway, line? They've just killed like technically thousands of people, stabbing them in the head, but. Mm. Like one little gruesome scene, they're like, "Yeah, no, that's too far." Too far. There's no. a lot of murder going on, and like, like you said earlier, Dave, it's a zombie apocalypse. It's fight or flight. You're gonna do whatever the fuck you want. There's no fucking rules. And there's gonna be some sickos out there, and there's gonna be You're some fucking sicko. There's sickos here in this world, <laughs> and there's rules, and y- there's the. I reckon Rob would be a sicko. I I think you would think go would. like you know like um. Well, you in, think Rob in, would turn in into this a is the guy. end when uh what's his name uh the guy who plays Kenny Powers what's yeah. his real name uh, I haven't seen it all the way through but I know who you mean oh, I know who you mean though yeah when he goes sick and cannibalised at the end he's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the new world man <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and he's got uh, he's got um, I fucking love that guy Channing Tatum on a leash Channing Tatum on a leash that was one of my favourite <laughs> and he scenes. tells him to bend over yeah and, and he like, turns around perches his ass and, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes he pulls his mask and he goes hey what's up guys he goes oh shit it's Channing Tatum <laughs> Like I, I um, was listening to um, uh, a podcast um, with Seth Rogen and I was saying, well, you could have got anyone. Because he, like, he, he, he uh, emailed him and saying, look, do you want to play this part as a gimp? And he was like, yeah, man, I'm up for anything. Then he got him on his gimp suit and stuff. And he was like, you sure you want to do this? Because like, we can get anybody. You're in a gimp mask the whole time. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And then we'll get you for the last bit. And he was like, I'm here now. I'll be in the game soon. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're like, well, we could get body doubles. <laughs> that's, that's when I gained like respect for... Um, Channing Tatum. Yeah, yeah. Because he did the whole, uh, like, what's the fucking g- movie that all the girls like? Um, the strip one. Uh, yeah. Magic Mike. Magic he Mike, did Magic yeah. Mike. No, I, to be fair, I haven't seen it. but I, I'm, I'm I've seen Magic Mike. It's a good film. Is it actually? Yeah, it's just, not I'm bad. Just it's just a, a I thought, watch. oh, because I had my perception of this guy being an absolute, you know, douche. But then he like he actually has like a sense of humor because he took that fucking gimp thing up and I was like yeah you he does have a sense of humor yeah and they I did he did twenty one uh, Jump Street twenty one Jump Street was fucking hilarious yeah. and he was kind of cool in there I thought it was quite funny yeah, it I was thought it was quite right. funny yeah twenty one Jump right, Street yeah. it, it was it surprised me it was actually. more like a mum's like him funny if you know what I mean I don't know there was some fun I think we all love him because you know he's he's you know he's not R one he's not he's like that lad lad that actually is quite funny deep down but then he like tries to be a lad yeah, he's still a little bit boring though yeah but you know I mean? he fucking cracks you up at times yeah yeah I just I don't know I do respect him but I don't think he's as great as everyone raves about him yeah um is this become the movie podcast yeah no I'm, <laughs> yeah. That. I'm gonna throw a swerve ball in there okay um Oh, I sent you across a couple of links, didn't I? And there were some amazingly dressed houses in America. So I Googled. I think it's on our um, our Facebook um, group, David. Do do do. I just want to show you softly some of them. Um, some people go in in America. I, w- I would love, personally, to go to America throughout the Halloween period because they go in, don't they? They really celebrate it and go wild. I'd Is it love 40 fun facts, Rob? No, but th- we'll crack that out. Oh, yeah. that was Tom really wanted that one, didn't he, was it? Yeah, Tom, Tom really. Tom wanted this. Yeah, Tom sent you. He, didn't he, to said, he said definitely read out all forty. Yeah, forty facts or something like that. That's what he wanted. Rob, you linked it in this one. Yeah. Like, was it before you linked that, or what were these yeah, links? After, right? I think um, the forty facts one. Oh my god, there was an interesting one. That actually oh. was an interesting fact. Wait, where did you link? It was just in the oh, UK Tom, thing. he's so good at finding stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he loves where's it. Tom? Tom, you're so good to us. Well, where is Tom, actually? Tom had yeah, to why has he missed this bail podcast? last second. Oh, Tom's missed it. Um, he's just got something really important to do. We all understand, so. The Bake Off final. Yes, the Bake Off <laughs> final. <laughs> <laughs> right, there was a fact here somewhere. Um, I don't know if I just found it. Oh, right, oh one's moved on its own. Oh, here it is. Because one's moved on its own. Tom Moon moved on. <laughs> oh. Don't get me started. Spooky. Too spooky for you. It's uh, too spooky for me. 
Um, look at these facts. Like, look at number one. So it's the first one I read. Um, because of the movie Halloween 1978 um, was in such a tight budget, they had to use the ca- uh, what is it cheapest mask they could find for the character Michael Myers, which turned out to be William Shatner's Star Trek mask. Shatner uh, initially didn't know the mask was in his likeness, but when he found out years later, he said he was honoured. Well, that's really weird. How? Can you get a picture up of the uh, Michael Myers mask? Yeah, I don't know. 1978. <coughs> How has no one else spotted that it's actually William Shatner? Well, they must have been really <laughs> shit, obviously. <laughs> Did they turn it inside out? They must out? have badly looked like William Shatner. <laughs> That's <laughs> what, Oh, my God, it probably does. Oh, no, it, it does a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Could it, could it be? Yeah, that's a modern one, that is. Um, we need a picture oh, of William Shatner. Bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's the cheeks oh in my it. So saggy cheeks. That's, That's incredible. Hilarious. Can we get a picture of William Shatner up? Yeah, what the fuck? As if. William Shatner. I can't believe no one knew that. Yeah, look, if, if you Google it, oh my God, there's probably a comparison. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? I can't believe I never knew this. That's kind of like... People must have known. There must have been people out there oh who Oh, my that. God. Maybe at the time. It like was we said, like though, news. look how shit the mask is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want one of those William Shatner masks like that. Yeah, dude, yeah. I mean, they are terrifying. So what did they do? Like, paint it white? That Spock one's freaky as well. No, they just tried to make... I don't know why they've made a William Shatner mask. Why were they, What yeah. was the intention behind that? <laughs> did they need it for so a scene be or William something? Shatner. Oh my god, that's hilarious! What the fuck? That's crazy. When I, I never read it, that. I was like, "No way!" Go cruising. You could do it find out these facts. Yeah, that's a good fact. That's a good Halloween fact for you. What else we got on here? Oh yeah, um, uh, Jack Lanterns, which I, I think the Americans are—that's what they call pumpkins, isn't it? So Jack Lanterns Jack were Lanterns, actually yeah. made from turnips. I did know that. Did you? Yeah, I think someone made told me. Made from a school. turnip. Yeah. So like How the fuck would you, you carve a face into A cool it, glass of Trinity juice. They've done it with a thingy there. Uh, what do you call it? Butternut squash. Yeah, but you can d- they can do them with loads of vegetables. But yeah, the turnips were the original one. Yeah, but the walnuts, uh, to be fair, I didn't read all these. I think they're more common, aren't they? They're easier to grow. Out. But pumpkin somehow took over. Have you uh, got any ghost stories, Softy? Or oh, know of anyone? <laughs> well, I do, but I just forget them because they're nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, okay. So you believe they're nonsense, but... They are still interesting, nevertheless. I can't remember any of them. I'm sure people have told I me before. I do have one. I kind of get embarrassed Go when then, I tell them to people as well. I, um, I get really embarrassed. When I, was in, uh, when I was in my old house when I was really younger. Um, like how old? Oh, it must have been like seven, eight, I think. Okay. I kept seeing, every now and again, I kept waking up in the middle of the night and I'd see Victorian people in the corner of the room, like a family. Well, actually. Yeah, and one night they walked through my... Uh, from one wall... Through to the, the next. Fuck? Uh, l- uh, it was Save no, it was a girl on her own. Yeah, I remember like waking How old up. Are you, David? I was like, like I said, seven or eight. Uh, but again, I don't believe in ghosts. So I just got really fucking tired and like hallucinating. Maybe you were. Uh, but back then, I fucking ran in, screaming my mum and dad like, "Oh my god, I just seen a ghost!" And it yeah. freaked me the fuck out. But then hallucinations are are really common with children as well. That's why they think the comparison between like children seeing ghosts always tends to be more common. So I, I used to hallucinate loads when I was ill when I was a kid. If I got the flu, like high fever, my mum, I used to sleepwalk, talk to myself. I remember being scared of like a tree when I was hallucinating once as a kid. I remember being in the downstairs bathroom. I remember there was some kind of tree and I can't really quite describe it, but I remember hallucinating like fuck downstairs. Yeah, the brain's fuzzy. I've yeah. never heard of anyone hallucinating. I was like kids, yeah, it's really common. Like sleep talking, like when you're ill, like... You kind of have like nightmares, like and, and you know when you have sleep, sleepwalking people, nightmares that tend to be kind of hallucinations. I'm not being funny. Know. People recall spooky, scary stories more when they are younger. Like oh, when I was younger, like yeah. But that's about, because your um, younger children and their brains they are meant to be on that level, like pets are. Yeah, like, but they that, see that's that, that me as an level. excuse for a level for a for level a, of what. A level of consciousness. Nah, like they say like kids and animals so have got like a different sense. They're more susceptible to yeah. seeing spirits. But then also the argument there would be that they're also more susceptible to a bit of hallucinating, getting extremely ill. I'm sure if Coddy was here, he'd probably have a great great answer for this. Yeah, but adults like get seriously ill and probably hallucinate. But that doesn't explain yeah, the Victorian family walking through your bedroom, going through the wall. I was wall. hallucinating. I obviously, you know... Yeah, but nightmares are also extremely common for children as well. They're always a lot more vivid Why are there always older kind of beings and people? Why is it never yeah, but like now, someone now who died last year? Now that you're older, did you... I, I, I fully Did you think. link the vision with something that you'd see seen them. before? 
Probably. I don't see them anymore. I don't see them. Is like, that the only thing? Else. I've, I've even gone to a ghost walk because I wanted to see what... Uh, I went to a ghost walk in um, Liverpool and I walked around a, 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 a like burnt-out mental asylum. Oh, shit. And it had like all the beds on there. And it yeah. went. They honestly asked me if I wanted to walk. Like, anybody want to walk on their own through these corridors with this like microphone and with headphones to see if you can pick up anything? And I was like, hell fucking yes. And I was like, I'm not going to lie. I was a bit scared, but I wanted to see. I was like, come on, something happened then. And nothing fucking yeah. did. See, that's my problem. I see. I've got out and I've gone out with the, the mindset of wanting to see it. And I think the people that kind of believe it tend to see it more because they'll try and find something within the little things that they find and also with them situations I would love to see it if it was real mate I would I'd be the first person to go oh shit ghosts are fucking real but there's no hardcore evidence it's always blurry videos I think I've upped my likeness of finding it statistically higher than someone who hasn't gone out looking for it and who has seen something these people that have accounts. Surely though, I would have seen something by now of how common ghost stories are. Yeah, there's people that have accounts though of like uh, the doors fucking shaking and banging about, and no one's been in the house, and they can hear things. So I don't know. Like these people are either lying or yeah, that's ghosts are real or they're just mad. I've I've known quite a lot of people. Like because I get a lot of people, I get a lot out of people. So I like to ask a lot of questions. I like to talk to lots of people. And total strangers who used to come into my shop and stuff, I would talk to them and get them to tell me uh, weird and wonderful things because I'm interested in that kind of shit. So I've heard a lot of people say different stuff and a lot of people that I know really well or friends of a friend that I know them. And there's just so much. There's so much out there. And there's so much weird shit of like things banging or moving and then there's lights going and then all that weird shit. There must be like something. Do you know what I mean? There m- something. Uh, I'm not saying I it's a ghost or something. But I mean, so what did you actually see? Let's like let's break this down a bit more. Well, because th- I know I can I, wanna, I can I'm close like, my eyes and tell you what. Okay, so t- describe what happened. Did they go through the wall? Which, How many people? Which time? Okay, when it went through the what, wall, so it was more just than a girl. one. Yeah, there's a Victorian family that I saw in the corner all the time. Like it was a there was a it was cliche as well. Cliche as fuck. There was like a mother daughter, a mother daughter son and. Um, were they see father. through? Yeah, they're like ghosty. They look like a typical ghost. It yeah. was. This is why <laughs> I don't believe it. This is why I probably watched something that night that had a ghost in. Like Ghostbusters has the same kind of theme. Yeah. See, th- this is what I was going to go with because, like, knowing your background, David, you're into the same stuff as us. It's surely you could be influenced somewhere. With, like, Definitely, like a vision and a nightmare. Yeah. And as you got older as well, you could also relate that kind of shadow or that outskirt of a memory because memories aren't actually very accurate no, not memories at all. Are, and you, they grow you, over when you memori- time when, when you memorize something over like i think you remember like at least i remember reading it in one of darren brown's but it was like 20 percent of the memory really you can't only remember the center of the photo so everything in the background or around the sides you know like the edges you kind of just make up yeah you kind of just make up you fill in the gaps and then you end up filling in the gaps with a hundred percent full photo and lots of, a lot of it is nonsense I'm not saying you personally but this is just how everyone does it oh, i'm terrible like when i tell stories or envision something i always add a little bit extra on it's kind of part of being a human if you know what i mean and that's why i find when people tell stories to get into the root of the ghost story is a very very hard hard thing to get the truth out taka's yeah. taka's got a taka believes firmly in ghosts we yeah. should get him down oh shit maybe we should yeah Got the um market. I was gonna say. Yeah, we've got a spare mic there. Yeah, but well. yeah, I uh, like I said, it was a, just a typical ghost I saw. So it, that was like that there's a Victorian stu- stu- family stood in the corner, and I closed my eyes instantly. I opened. I was like, oh shit! Close my eyes instantly. The one that walked through was the girl from the Victorian family. Walked from oh. it, like from my window where the uh, where this uh, window was. No, from from the wall where the window was, all the way through to the wall where my mum and dad were sleeping. What if your mum and dad's ever seen anything? I don't house. know, but I think Dad ha- has before. In um, that house? And I thought things, Tom laughed like he brought this up, I think on an earlier podcast, where things used to touch my face. Oh, I used to did, feel yeah. things on my face. Uh, what, but in I, the night? Yeah, that was, not so, that was not so long ago. It was only when I was like 16, 17. But I also, in the same house? I just think there might be like, yeah, in the same house. And I used to get freaked out and just like... But then ever since I stopped believing in all of it, I've had none, nothing, zero, zilch. Do you feel so like just because you might be looking for it when you believe in it? Yeah, probably. Or uh, associating it with that first. Yeah, I think that's most definitely it. And then, and then I just kind of like listen. I, what what I believe is just logic and reason. Like the one, yeah, exactly. the one I keep bringing up is why do you never see one here with ghost in little, like in the daytime? Yeah. Then people yeah, go, oh, because they only come out at night. Why don't they only come out at night? Is that because your vision's a bit fucking weird? You you thought you saw something. 
Yeah, I don't know. The we don't have night vision, so obviously everything's a bit more obscured in the is night. Is it? I don't know. Is the is the moon out? Is it? Does it give a different wave? To, is the planet actually in a different place? So you're going ju- you're going juju with yeah, it. But it yeah, but that, that's going down tin foil area. <laughs> but it could be. You're <laughs> saying it, it couldn't be for that reason. Why? Yeah, but the amount could of times, it, where's the, the amount of times I've woken up in the middle of the night as well and seen like the wardrobe in the corner and there's been like a my jumper hanging off of it. Yeah. And for that split second, I've gone, oh, who mate. the fuck is standing in my room? Yeah, yeah. And then I go, oh, it's that hoodie I hung up yesterday. Ooh. Mate, I'm 100% on that side of things. I'm 100% 50 and 50. Yeah. Because but I, can, I, I personally felt for that second there, that, that believing there could be someone in my room. And then I kind of chucked out all the so logical stuff and brought so in that logic. I, isn't an experience. Yeah. Whereas yeah, seeing Victorian people walk through a wall or hearing other things that I've heard is an experience. So that's why I'm 50 50. Do you know what I mean? I get yeah, we that don't you can get scared from things. But then when people that I know say they've seen shit, that's when I'm like. But we okay. don't know how Dave was as a child. He could have been a very light sleeper. He could have always had nightmares or something like that. Yeah. But it was never really just like he was never really told his parents or he never really knew or no one ever really noticed. Could have been a sleepwalker just around his bedroom. Like, that's really common with kids to be doing all that kind of stuff. And in that sense, he could have been still dreaming while awake. That happens all the time. I still do that now. I think I'll sleep... Uh, <coughs> sorry. Sleep paralysis. I get it all the time. Yeah. Where I see random shit. And I, but I know I'm awake, if you know what I mean. But you asleep at the same but time. But there's... I mean, my sister came home crying from work one night for what she's seen. And my sister's really not into this kind of shit, neither. And wasn't expecting it. Mm. So it was out the blue. Um... So I was at home, she come in crying her eyes out, really like, <laughs> like, do you know when someone's really upset, yeah. the shoulders are going and everything. And we're like, what's up, what's up? Tell us what's up. And she was working with, she was doing like night nursery care stuff. So she'd call in on people, give them a cup of tea and that yeah. kind of thing. That, and it was in Ingmail. She drove to a caravan park and um, she turned around the corner. This is at night. And um, there was a woman and she nearly hit her. So she swerved. And she thought she was in fancy dress because, again, the cliche, um, she was in like a long gown, Victorian lady with a hat. And she was stood right on the corner and it looked like a person. Not see-through this time, person. But it found it was weird because it was like nine o'clock at night. Anyway, we went to the caravan and they were like, oh my God, we just nearly ran over a lady. And she went, what lady? And she was like, um, oh, dressed all in Victorian. Oh yeah, that's so-and-so. She's been spotted hundreds of times on that corner. She's uh, a ghost. We've done some research, blah, 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 blah. So that freaked the fuck out of my sister. Absolutely freaked her out. Because like when she went to swerve for her, they were like, oh my yeah. God, you've nearly hit her. Looked behind and there was no one there. So... Now I speak to my sister about it and she says, well, I don't know because I know ghosts aren't real and all that. But she came home that night in floods of tears and both the women saw it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. stuff like that where I'm like, well, why did you st- why did you both see a Victorian lady stood on the corner? Do you know what I mean? So Yeah, see, I wasn't there, so I, I don't know. That, that's just for me to come out. For you to just tell me that, and I've just got. I just feel like I have to. Yeah, I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to investigate and find out. Like, I just feel like I don't know whether your sister not slept for twenty four hours and just nailed two Red Bulls because that fucking make you see shit. But there was two people in the car. I just feel like what she did or around that time. I just feel like if it was real, there'd be hard evidence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or everywhere. And, and there's no hard evidence. People jump evidence. to Juju first as well, which kind of annoys like, me. Like, like, there's no hard evidence. So you find it interesting though. I do find it interesting. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Mate, oh, it I, is I wanted to be. Th- I wanted to be the first person to think that ghost is real and Bigfoot's real and all this. No, I don't want ghosts to be real. Oh, mate. I'll <laughs> like, uh, it's when people it say it's not the shit out of it's me. Not, it's not. <laughs> the it's whole when concept. people say uh, it's not the ghost you want to be. Yeah, it's poltergeist. They can grab things. What? Huh? Yeah. No, I've got a horrible ghost. Uh, actually, I think I've told the. P- uh, the By the way, I just want to. I just want to come in real quick and interject that I've uh, found. My Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> the extra bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's genius! Yeah. Want to see my extra bone? Yeah, you like that, yeah. boys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Five million views. <laughs> okay, now, the uh, great describe place. what we're looking at, guys. Oh Jesus! Uh, it is a man in a typical skeletal suit, where with the black background, you know, so it looks like you're floating in the dark, but he has an extra bone. And I'll leave it there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. So, um, What's story, poltergeist. Boys? Yeah, I've told it already before on the podcast because I remember you putting the scared music in the background. But 
I cut a very long story short. Basically, the guy that I worked with um, at the time, um, his lad kept ringing him up when I was at work and be like, Dad, some weird shit happened last night, this, this and this. And throughout the week, it got worse and worse. And then over the span of two weeks, it got to like ridiculous stages where they needed to actually do something about it. <laughs> yeah, so... Ooh. Wait, is, it, wait, okay. wait, is this the same story as before? Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I was only going to touch upon it very, very uh, lightly. But, I mean, I've got a couple of things that happened to me before, but I haven't seen a ghost. It was just an unusual okay, do you wanna moment. So I'm just going to recap this original story that I was going to talk about. Real quick. So, yeah, I worked with this guy. And then, um, can I have some scary music, please? Thank you. Right, so I worked with this guy, and um, for the span of like two to three weeks, his son kept ringing up and saying like, oh, the, the weird shit's going on in the house. I live in there with my um, daughter and his wife. Anyway, so things, the bin mainly kept flowing across the room, and they'll hear the bang while they're watching TV, go into the kitchen, and then the, the bin's in an unusual place. So then the next the bin. night... The bin! The bin! <laughs> fucking hell, oh, dubstep! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and oh, the bin was flying oh, around. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Halloween us, so. yeah. Well, this is not fucking scary. No, it's <laughs> not at all, is it? It's killing my vibe. No, I can talk over this. I'ma come up behind ya. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then the light switch in the top bathroom, so they got like a, um, a staircase going up, and then the door to the bathroom's there, so you can see into it. Anyway, they could hear like the pull cord go ting ding, and the light being on. No one upstairs, everyone's in the lounge. So shit like that kept happening. It kept really freaking himself out. So he would ring his dad every day. And then it got to a head where the, the door, back door would fly open, the bin went I across, the lights went off, like everything happening, like in Poltergeist films. So he fucking freaked the shit out, went out the house for the night, stayed at his dad's and stuff. And the next day he was like, I can't do this shit. I can't live in this house anymore. There's something fucked up. Anyway, so he ended up getting an exorcist to come in. Um, and she came into the house <laughs> um, and he was like, I need something. I, I don't care. This is bullshit, but I need to try something. So anyway, she said the bad energy was in the child's bedroom that they were doing up. So they went into that. In the child's room. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the child's it's room. She, it's in the back door. And she of did, course it's in the child's and room. She oh, said, it's in the child's room. <laughs> it's in the child's room. Child. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, a yeah. sinister beast. So um, she said, yeah, there's a dark energy attached to this child dark in the child's energy. room, and it's in the house. So she was like, right, we're going to perform an exorcism. Now, this is very cliche. I'm only repeating what I've heard. Okay. And um, so it wasn't... So in the film, The Exorcist, she shouts, the power of Christ, I compel Compels you to leave. You. Didn't say that, but it said that I compel you to leave. And she was like fucking shouting it and screaming it at him <laughs> and he, she was <laughs> like you, you're gonna have to join in <laughs> with me <laughs> I just had this vision like it being really awkward like she's there, like okay you guys just have to repeat after me you know um, I compel you to leave and she just loses it like, yeah, hey, it's <laughs> all like, leave I leave I compel you get out just go through the back door the mum just changes her mind instantly like you've gotta leave <laughs> no guys this is freaking me out telling me because I was there when he was telling him do you want to Yep, yeah. So I'm, I'm just really? going to finish it. Yeah, Do you want so to continue? Do you want the music? Does it make... Yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she was saying, I compel you to leave. I compel you to leave. Um, anyway, the lights went... And then went... And went bright again. The whole Whoa. house went bright again. And she said, yeah, the spirit has like left. Like every scary movie story like you've ever seen. every scary movie scene. So that's that ghost story, yeah. So... There you go. That that's that one. And I mean, it was his son. So Mark in the shop. It was yeah. his son who was bringing him, telling this story. And it, I was there the whole two weeks that this was getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Into did you get this directly from the person that this happened? To? Yeah, because he put it on loudspeaker. No, the fucking ghost told him. <laughs> no, no. Did you get the story directly from <laughs> that person? Yeah. Okay. Di well, so, so basically, I worked with this guy who it, his son it was happening to. So I, he would ring Mark during the day. And Mark would go, listen to this and put it on loudspeaker. Yeah. Because I was interested in it. And he would say, look, Rob, Rob's going to listen in. So, yeah, he used to tell the stories each night. And then it got worse and worse. <laughs> Robert Swain is listening in. <laughs> Robert Swain, the ghost story I chaser. Ghost story chaser. 
Yeah. So, uh, Rob, you got any stories? I've got two that's them. happened to me. The Swaz Buster. Do you want to go in with it? <laughs> Quickly. Yeah, I'll go in. <laughs> right, I need some creepy music again, please. You need some creepy music. Okay. So, this is the tale. Ooh. Me and Laura. This is the tale of the Shazran. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's got a title. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, what, is it called the, the what? Shazra. The, sh- the Shazra. Yeah, so you need to whisper behind me. The okay, Shazra. let's go again. So it's about a hotel. So hang on, let me intro it. This story is called Night of the Shazra. Shazra. <laughs> right. So me and my good lady, we decided to have a weekend away in Blackpool. Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know, this would be the scariest weekend of, our life. of their lives. <laughs> so we were happy and in love, and we enjoyed our first night in Sheffield. We stayed in a B&B, very traditional, very old-fashioned, very League of Gentlemen-esque, very unusual, but didn't get an eerie vibe. It was fine, a normal B&B. Anyway, the Shazron is what it was called. <laughs> so, <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a sec. It was the name the of the- hotel was called the Shazron. So the, the name of the hotel was called the Shazron. Oh, I thought it was like the demagogue and that was- Yeah, the I name thought of that was the name of the named, beast that yeah. you saw. <laughs> <laughs> the Shazron, <laughs> it's here. It's two inches <laughs> tall and made from semen. <laughs> the Shazron it's followed me back. Nobody will hear the Shazron. The Shazron. Right, so take okay, me back continue. into the zone. All right. So our first night at the Shazron was lovely, wonderful. Look at the Shazron, the Shazron. So the Shazron. next day we had many <laughs> activities planned. So we went to a theme park. And then on the way back home, we thought we'll get some chips and we'll have a night in instead whoa, of whoa, drinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are your arms out? Yeah, why did you pull Roy's sleeve up? Why did you just pull your sleeves up? For listeners, one he's side. just rolling it's one, one side, side of his <laughs> fucking <laughs> sleeve out. It's my storytelling <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> it's my storytelling side. Okay, right. right bring me back in. All right. So we got our chips and we went back to the Shazra. Scary chips. <laughs> Which was owned by <laughs> a man and a woman, very friendly. A little bit unusual looking like Tubbs and Edward from the League of Gentlemen. Anyway, so we went to, we went to uh, our room, ate our chips, watched Saturday Night Entertainment on the TV. We then Ooh. turned the light out and we went to bed. Anyway, many hours later, three in the morning, me and Laura woke to an alarm. A fire alarm buzzing and buzzing and a the TV had turned on in the night. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday night, take away with an undick. <laughs> <laughs> and there was operatic music, which was really fucking freaky, by the way. It was like, <laughs> it was like some kind of like Michael Boob. What kind of music? It was like, <laughs> it was operatic like, music. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Um, it was like an operatic stage performance thing at three in the morning and the, uh, can I have the, not Echo. Yeah, I just wanted to know. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know fucking what this operatic music was. So the TV, it says recap. So you've gone to the, uh, so the gone hotel to called what now? The Shazron. So the recap, Shazron. we've gone to the Shazron. Um, it's our second night. We decided to stay in because we've gone been to sleep, the theme sleep, park. Sleep. We've gone to sleep. Wake up at like 3 a.m. to the fire alarm buzzing off. Yeah. And Scary well. music. So buzzing off. Um, Laura was all freaked out. I was freaked out. I was like, what the fuck's going on? The fire alarm's going off. I was like, there's a fire. And then someone was banging on the doors going, uh, downstairs, downstairs. <laughs> so that was a bit weird anyway. Get out, get out. So I turned the TV off because it was fucking screaming. And it was like, right, okay, Laura, go downstairs. So we all piled downstairs, like loads and loads of people in the dressing gowns and stuff like that. And then the, the little guy who owned the Shazron was running around and stuff like that. Is everybody okay? And he was Are like, okay? right, everyone stay everyone in okay? the lounge. Yeah. Um, so we were chatting to people, like, oh, what do you think it is? Oh, yeah, it's probably just like a false alarm or all that stuff. <laughs> and then he come downstairs the Shazra, the Shazra, the and he Shazra. said, everyone can return back to their rooms now. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, do you know what it is? And he went, it's nothing. No, it's fine. You can go back to your room. Went, it's nothing. Oh, no, it's but what, what set off the alarm? I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> and he was like... Go back to your rooms. He was like, oh, what ro-? he says, oh, the, the alarm was triggered by a fly. He went, oh, okay, what room? Room number 17. Mine and Laura's fucking room! Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Spooky! And I went, I said to him, 
Oh, that's our room. And he went, yes, uh, a fly tri triggered it off. It was being all weird. It was being really weird. It was like, what? yeah, yeah, no, it was a fly. It was a fly triggered it off. It's all right. And I was like, but I was in bed. I was there all night. Like, there wasn't a fucking fly in the room. I would have known. It was like, yeah, I'll definitely know if there's one. It was like, dude, it was a fly. Just, sh just go back to your room. So it was being really <laughs> weird. Go back to your room. Let the shadow so do you in the arse. Me and Laura. <laughs> I mean, I mean, have a good night's sleep. Have a good night's sleep. Have a nice night's sleep. <laughs> Try at least. <laughs> Try at least. The shadow's going to get right on the <laughs> fucking pitch. <laughs> <laughs> So we went back to our bedroom. Didn't really say anything to each other at all about the whole thing. I didn't want to freak her out. We, I remember going up the stairs and walking down a fucking long corridor to room number 17. And it felt like something out of the fucking shining. So we walked all the way back to our room. It was like half three. <laughs> Got into bed, turned the light off, turned the TV off. And I am not fucking kidding you. Like, the clock, the tick of the clock was like, And that went on for fucking hours. And all I was doing, I kept my eyes closed. Um, Laura was doing the same. I thought she was asleep. I kept my eyes closed. I felt like someone was in the fucking bedroom. Put my fucking the duvet over my head and was like, please be morning. Please be morning. And the clock was just. <laughs> and it was I just. I love feet to mind you. And I, <laughs> I am not kidding you. I was so freaked out. And I was like, someone's in the fucking room. Someone set the fucker off. He was being all weird because he knows that that's the fucking death the room. The Shazron room. And people have been murdered. And that is the spooked up, fucked up room. Anyway, me and Laura got up and were like, shall we leave? I don't really fancy going around Blackpool. We're like, okay, let's leave. Drove about an hour out of Blackpool. We pulled over for the KFC. And I said to Laura, I was like, um, last night was a bit weird, wasn't it? She was like, yeah, I've yeah. I've been to this Really story. creepy. Oh, my God, I just saw the picture of the... Uh, the picture of the room. Well, well, well. Oh, there it is, the Shazron. This the Shazron. was Rob's story of the Shazron. <laughs> um, Will we ever find out? That's, that's the fucking place where we had a... That's where we all sat. That's where we all sat. And then he walked in and went, go back to your rooms. And we were like, oh, what room? Uh, set it off. He was like... Number seven. Photos of the Chazron Hotel. Uh, yeah, so me and Laura were having a KOC and we went, um, did you feel a bit weird last night? She went, yeah, I didn't sleep a wink. She said the clock was just going. So yeah, basically didn't see anything, but it's fucking Was that the bed, rock? Was that the bed? Why is there a picture of the bed? D they know something about this fucking bedroom. I tell you now, they know something about that bedroom. Will we ever find out if the Shazron exists? Well, join us next week. Dave. Will Rob ever come Dave. to the conclusion that he was butt-fucked by the Shazron? <laughs> <laughs> right, get all that picture of the lounge. I've got another story to quickly tell you about this lounge while I'm on the Shazron. Right, get that lounge up with all the chairs. Right, so the next morning after this ghostly incident, we had breakfast planned. So zoom in, right, see the little table there? Actually, that table where the cameraman sat at, right? Okay. Cameraman? Me, what? Whoever took the picture. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, right, okay, there. so me and Laura... the when there was no cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> See that light at the top? <laughs> There's no light in that room. <laughs> that is the Shazron <laughs> crawling across the ceiling. Oh, my God, the Shazron. <laughs> He's so bright. Yeah, so we, uh, me and Laura came down for breakfast, and um, it was quite a tight little squeeze, so they had to seat everyone in the seat. So me and Laura sat there, Right, and then um, uh, a woman and uh, a boy, young boy, came and sat on that table there. Anyway, she, they were both really nervous. She, she was like whispering to a boy because she didn't want to like talk to us. We we're like, oh, do you have a nice day? No, they're like fucking hell, they're a bit loud, aren't they? Because me and Laura come across, come across really friendly and loud. Anyway, <laughs> friendly and loud in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We need any assistance. I'm really friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you and your boy require some assistance? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Laura said to me, so we were just keeping ourselves to ourselves on this table where you're really close to each other. And she was like, so we ordered a breakfast, a fried, fried cooked breakfast. And she was like, Rob, um, would you like my fried egg? I went, yeah, yeah, please. So she picked it up with a fork. I pulled it over to me and dropped the fried egg in the boy's cup of tea. <laughs> 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 and you could just see the fried egg hanging out of the cup of tea. <laughs> what did she put in what? Because she was trying to pass me the fried egg and it slipped oh, off. Oh, shit. And I thought she intentionally meant it. <laughs> Being really yeah. loud and friendly and then dropping fucking eggs <laughs> in tea. <laughs> but then she did oh, that sorry, really... I'll get you a new one. She did that really awkward thing of like trying to get it out and it just kept scooping and falling off black in. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, all oh. this bits... Oh, it's smashed into pieces <laughs> now. <laughs> it's all over oh, the thing. I'll pop the yolk. 
<laughs> oh no, now I've popped it. Yeah, so that's the Shazron for you. Fucking hell, this Shazron. There but we go, the Dave. name, the Shazron, cracks I me feel up. as if this is going to be like a legend of the Shazron now. You know, we were talking about aliens earlier. Yeah. yeah. I um, read something the other day. I don't quite believe it because, uh, as we all know, for extraordinary claims <laughs> requires extraordinary. <laughs> uh, Robert, I am talking. I want to talk. Pass me the balloon. <laughs> Pass me the balloons. <laughs> Robert's just letting a fucking balloon Come off. on. Thank you very much. You might need to find this article, David, uh, yeah, to okay. read it out. Let me know. Uh, right, okay, I'm locked I in. have read into this one. Um, so my facts are true, but if you want to get more depth, you might want to read this article out. Okay. So they had... Um, I can't remember where it was, uh, but it's not been confirmed by SETI yet because they want to do more investigation. What's SETI? SETI. SETI? What's SETI? Uh, what does SETI stand for? Like a SETI? Uh, it's a long upholstery seat for move. <laughs> <laughs> for more Something more extraterrestrial. <laughs> it's a long upholstery seat uh, for humans to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> but they um they they reckon they've received signals from alien civilizations. Oh, like oh SETI. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. It's S E T I. <laughs> yeah, S T E I. I want to know what that means. It's something. The uh, SETI Institute conducts scientific research on life and universe. Uh, Wikipedia. Uh, the search for extraterrestrial extraterrestrial intelligence. Yeah, SETI. And they are a very well. That funded search uh, extraterrestrial. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, a s- association that confirms. Yeah, so stuff what's and what's like. this? What's this? But uh, yeah, so they so somewhere I cannot can't remember where, but um, um, they received over two hundred and fifty something signals coming from uh, a particular area in the sky where they were looking at planets where uh, where they think you know, <coughs> excuse me, you know at the moment they're looking at planets where they think life might be. They call the Goldilocks planets where they think it might be just perfect. So they've been looking up there, trying to listen in all these millions, well, well thousands. I've gone on this first article. It's from Fox News. Yeah, the Goldilocks planets. I like that. Is, is that where? Space is this real? Because Fox they News say, is they, not credible. They say really. scientists disagree, but that's not true. They're just not saying anything until it's been confirmed yet. Essentially. So what's this? This might be the wrong thing. Uh, uh, the claim of two scientists that, m- that yeah that they go. may have found evidence of intelligent aliens raising some uh, astronomers', astronomers vibros. vibros. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why they think it could be from life is because the light pulses have to be are so fast and so quick they have to be man well made by something because it's nothing the the signals aren't, couldn't be um, like by lasers because they couldn't be made by anything natural in the universe. Well, that's so they say anyway. But we don't know anything about the universe yet, so this is why they're the they're going to say they would observe some stars and question using an eight-foot optical telescope using them or find them. But they would look forward to consulting the scientists of controversial claims. Is this the right one? Yeah, I think that is the right one. It's just it's a very short article. It's yeah, it's a Fox longer News, man. Investigators claim that aliens... Uh, you it? might have to pull something from one of those, the signals from the space. Independence probably more of a... But they haven't confirmed it yet, so there's not enough evidence to prove what they're saying. But so far, it would be logical to say that it came from something uh, living. Um, Is there not a 40-second video? But like the ghost stories, they're jumping to... Massive something conclusions. that yeah, an extraordinary claim before they put the science in the background. Aww. But these are some established scientists. But they're I looking into it. So I think I, I think I'd believe aliens more than I would ghosts. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. I would rather believe aliens than than ghosts. Ghosts are creepy. <laughs> but why? But imagine aliens. the world though. If they did, say he came tomorrow and went, yeah, these guys are right. This, this is. I well, believe think, that it's already. Think? I think the government already know that. There's what aliens. area fifty one? Well, <laughs> is that <laughs> is that right? Is that yeah? Uh, no, it's Area right because fifty one man, <laughs> get your tin foil hats out, man. You read your brain signals, man. <laughs> Look at Area fifty one, though. Hey, they've definitely Roswell was real. They're gonna get some of my brain. Oh, mate, I'm jumping. Oh, look at that alien, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, have you guys seen Oh, that? shit, man. Oh, sh- that is real. He escaped from Area 51. We're just Googling Area pictures of Area 51 now. And Area 51 just, just Googling to cover images, guys. It's guys, Area have you seen the dragon footage? <laughs> what is that? Have you seen the, gra- the dragon? dragon? Have you seen footage? it? Yeah, yeah. What's the dragon footage? The internet's been losing its mind over this dragon spot Isn't in China. Isn't it just one of those big birds that looks like a phoenix? What are they No, called? no, it's fucking CGI, mate. It's I reckon it's just one of those big birds. Look there, look. Everyone's losing their shit. I think it's a really clever, clever marketing tool. Oh, that, that's definitely CGI. That's not the one I've seen. That's not it, mate. Go back. It's going over the mountain. That's pretty cool, though. It looks awesome, that. That's not the one. It's the... <coughs> uh, where is it? Where's that fucking... 
I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Good. You need to tap into your YouTube, not Google. Um, but yeah, there's, it's been trending everywhere what and everyone's been in? sharing it. Uh, just put in uh, Dragon in China. Is it China? Dragon, yeah. Dragon in China. I showed China. it Libby last night. Sounds like a film. Don't believe me. There it is. <laughs> of course, Libby. <laughs> I was like, I was trying to make I it really real. Dragon. I was trying to uh, see how gullible she was. I was like, have you seen that? You're going to be taking a look at footage of a giant mysterious look pretty flying real. creature that was caught on tape by a man in China. Oh, I don't know. This particular it's CGI, footage was taken near the border oh, of Oh, yeah. Laos. Or it's just a bird. What, that, that's no bird. That's like, oh, it he could, could be like a dragonfly that was like really close. Really close. <laughs> I don't know. The way it's flapping its wings is a bit. Look how like moth bitten the wings are. Dragon caught on tape? It's because he's been what fighting another dragon. Think? The way it disappears <laughs> there as well is really bad <laughs> CGI. <laughs> Look at go back. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the fucking music they use. Dragon <laughs> or pret. When it seems in then. Pet. I can't even pronounce that. Petrodactyl. Dragon. What the fuck's a petrodactyl? What the fuck? Hang on, what's a pet? Pet P T E R O D A C T. Okay, watch it disappear behind this. This is where it really give the fucking game away. You ready? You ready? You ready? Terrible. 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 It's terrible. That's awful. But I love how everyone's like taking this and running with it like dragons. Yep, I knew they're real. The people just find something and they blow it. Yeah, they blow it. They want it so much. It was like that fucking blue dress, white dress thing. Like people blow they it. Want it yeah, they so want it. They want just to cause an uproar. Like uh, what, what colour did you see it though? I, I saw both. I can't remember. I, I think actually I saw, saw both. Blue? I can't remember. I think I saw gold, man. Mate, did you? I white can't remember and gold. I saw. White blue and, gold. and off blue. But I, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? It's white and gold. And then I went back to it after a cup of tea and looked and I was like, <gasps> it's blue <laughs> as well. <laughs> so what was the... What was the uh, it's blue. <laughs> it's changed. So what was it behind me? To what, what was the explanation it? for it then? It's an optical illusion on your eyes, and it's they to do with like what. Someone wrote a really smart article about it and how different people perceive it differently because of something. I can't remember why, but it was quite smart though. The um, have we got a picture of it? Cause I'm not seeing it in a while. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this live actually. So what was it? Blue. What would I put in for it? Blue. Uh, just yeah. What color is the dress? Uh, yeah. What color is the this? This fucking There's a new one with age. a handbag, isn't there? You seen the new oh, one? Oh, there was a new oh, one. God, the they, fucking yeah. new ones. I bet people can make them. <laughs> the now. new yeah, ones. I'm going to make one. The new shop. ones. I'm Just make actually one. take a picture of a blue dress and then actually take a picture of a white dress and go, right, well, guys, this is right, guys, here we go. Blue. Straight away, tell us what you see. Okay. Tell us what you see. Blue, blue. and gold. Blue. Blue. Bluey gold. But the more you stare at it, it starts going white. Blue. Mine's blue and black. Yeah, blue and black for me. Blue and black. Blue and black. No, it's gold and a little bit so off where you, blue. Where are you seeing the blue? Like, of where the white bears would be. Are you, are you not seeing gold? Fucking bright no. gold. No, I'm I think seeing it's black. The angle mate. I'm at. It does look black, but now I've turned the, mate, it's the top half looks gold. <laughs> Rob's swinging in front of the fucking. The top of it looks gold. Yeah. It's gold. Uh, it's gold, the darling. Bit, the top bit definitely looks gold. Yeah, but the rest of it's black and blue. Yeah. But I have looked at this image before and gone, "Oh Jesus Christ, it's dark blue." Where do you see the white though? I don't understand because those those even That's those white. dots on the right are blue. What's white? Come on. That's white. What's white? I, I can't see white. what you're pointing at, but um, you're not seeing white here. You just said blue, both of you. Yeah, but uh, it's white with a tiny hint of blue. So what's the new one you're saying? The handbag? handbag. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just put the new. I saw it, but I don't think it went as popular. It was like nah. I saw. It, I just went straight past it. I didn't see it. Like, it. Not like, this like, shit oh. again. <laughs> I think that's what everyone else thought. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I was like, I'm not letting this fucker go no, viral. Not this Did you shit used to again. play those? Um, do you know? Don't back show any posts from this person again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the nineties, it was a craze to have those crazy eye pictures on your wall. My auntie used to have them. Do you know when you stare at it for ages and everyone goes, yeah, I can see three dolphins. <laughs> and then other people are like, what the fuck? I can't see fuck all. Is this the handbag? It's yeah, white. It's white. It's just a white handbag. Yeah, it's just white. It's just white. <laughs> We're all it's in just a white handbag. This fucking handbag is white. What a podcast, ladies Hang and gentlemen. Hang on, it's changing. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. It's blue, David. <laughs> it's just an animated gif. We've all been fooled. <laughs> um, yeah, can you not remember these crazy eye pictures everyone used to go crazy about? Is that the psychologist thing? Those ones. The ones that you go like, what do you see? No, no, Actually, no, a no. baby killing everyone. No, no, you're on about the paint splodgers. No, it's the um, crazy eye. I think they're crazy eye posters and stuff like that. Nah, not them fuckers. <laughs> not them fuckers. <laughs> 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 no, were they actual physical pictures of eyes? It's like, no, no. It was like, um, um, 
it was like um, they were kind of really nice pieces of art to put on your wall, but it looked like a mash of colours. But you stare it's at kind it. of like these illusions. Oh, they're cool. I like these. No, it's just that the rabbit and the duck. <laughs> What about these ones? Optical illusions. Put, um, 90s. 90s um, optical illusion posters. 90s <laughs> optical illusion. <laughs> <laughs> this is great for the listeners, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. 90s like, illusion. I can't believe you guys don't know about it. It was such a big trend and like, they were like really well, famous. I don't know what you're going on about. I really want to fucking, oh my God, what are these things? Yeah, fucking out at last. So people would look at them and they'll have them on the wall. My aunt had one on the wall. And so what do you, what are you seeing? Piss. And then they'll see like crazy Ooh, fucking hell <laughs> visions and eye health. All right, never mind. Yeah, so then they'll be like, "Yeah, I can see five dolphins." What? I've, that is, there Rob, is I've never seen down, this. Go up. Go there down. is just fish there, there, there. 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 The magic eye ones. Yeah, that was it. It was like a whole craze, a new way of looking at the world. Where did you see the dolphins? <laughs> a new way of looking at the world. Oh, they must have been fucking bored back then, <laughs> wasn't they? Yeah, so that is a tragic way to live. Yeah. I'm so glad we have like technology now. So that's what they did of an evening. Come <coughs> round mine, I have a magic eye portrait. Ooh, it's that new. Thing, that, that one's quite cool. That actually moves. Oh, it's moving. Spooky. Well. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> it's the, sh- the Chevron Demogorgon, whatever he's called. The Shazron. The Shazron. I did actually go home and Google, see if anything fucked up had happened in the Shazron. I was really scared as I was typing it in. Why, Rob? I was like, nothing fucked up has happened in the Shazron. How do you know? I just know. What, have you Googled it? <laughs> no, I didn't Google it. I think the fire alarm just went off. Because why did he? Why did he go, <laughs> there's nothing, nothing in the room. There's nothing for you. Go to bed. He was proper like Tubbs and Edward as well. It was proper freaky. Uh, I mean, you could easily say that we spooked ourselves out. <laughs> what would you do if the government said tomorrow, aliens are coming down? What's the first thing you would do? Quit my job and get buy an AK-47. What would you How? do, David? Whoa, what? Whoa, why? How why? do you know they're going to be like... You reckon they're definitely <laughs> going to be hostile then? <laughs> like what said, would be your I first port of call? What would you do? If they said tomorrow, look, we're going to be like Star Trek, like the new Star Trek, like a really mm-hmm. interstellar species of like no more racism... Nothing, you know. There's life out there everywhere, and they all just come flooding in. We end up having a spaceport. Well, like, oh, like instantly. I, I mean, like, yeah, boom. Like, you're gonna have to accept it. Like, oh, if I have to, how do you feel it? about it? Mm. I don't fucking know. excited. Like, yeah, if they're excited, friendly, if like, they're cool. friendly, like, but wow. apprehensive, I think would be the right word. And there yeah. was like some outward formal government that they have where we're part of that thing now. Sure. And well, they're, they're dictating our lives. We're well, not like, dictating our lives. You go to Ding Dang. On five days a week. No, no, no. Why are they fucking... (laughs) 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 That's just... That's not fucking how you do. What is that? That's racist, man. (laughs) (laughs) That's just racist. (laughs) That's just... For aliens, man. It sounds like you're from... uh, Ukesikstan. Ding dang. You got flown to the President Zorgon. You know, they might have studied our planet. I would say I'd be, like, apprehensive and nervous. Uh... I don't know what I'd do. It depends. Uh, if if, if, if they said we're going to war with aliens in space, I then I'd probably quit my job and get a gun. I don't that. know. Imagine how epic it would be. That would end, like end racism, right? That would end it. it. Yeah, be, because yeah. then we were like humans and <coughs> aliens. That would be like, right, we've got fucking aliens coming down. We all have to band together. And ev- do you think the terrorists everybody would be yeah. team people. I'd do you think like, the terrorists right. would go like, okay, we're not going to bomb you anymore. We've got bigger fish to fry would they drop that or what? would they be still be like no fuck you we're doing what we need to do <laughs> <laughs> like, f- have we not got enough to deal with we've got See, that's the m- confusing part what would happen to the real world problems if there was yeah do you I think, think they would I think drop? cease to exist man Pardon? really i think they'll cease to exist i think people go oh shit and be scared and just be like all right well we have to fight for team people now if it was a war scenario and do you like think like they're, they're coming to earth they're definitely not flipping. They're definitely hostile. They're definitely not peaceful. And oh. they mean business. Could you imagine having the countdown? Like, they'll be here in four days. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh. what would it That's making me. That's making it's me making anxiety. Goose. Go right yeah, up. yeah. I'm, I'm going goosey. <coughs> You've like got a, four days. And then on the news, like, countdown, like, three days. We'll just sat there watching, like, Walking Dead, and it goes, This is an important message. <laughs> Aliens are coming. Yeah. You have four days no, to that's act. Too, that's too Hollywood. They'd probably be like, Look, probably get a letter. They'd have, yeah, you'd have the prime minister stand up and say it, wouldn't you? Someone really yeah, 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 boring yeah. that you wouldn't want to tell you. Yeah, and he'll, he'll do it all robotic and. Yeah. I genuinely believe that the government or the well, president. Well, you know, 
<laughs> aliens are coming down. Well, you know. And we're going to get them to fry those fucking Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to build they... a wall all the way up until space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they want to live here, they're going to have to kill the Mexicans. going to have to kill the Mexicans. <laughs> that's, <laughs> what <I> <laughs> that's what I believe. Because that's what I believe. You know. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully they can get I'm gonna a build a wall. Head. I'm going to build a wall around the Earth so the, uh, the aliens <laughs> can't get, get in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be the biggest wall ever. I'll tell you that now. It's going to be the biggest wall ever. <laughs> and to be fair, I'll be like, oh, good on you, mate. Get, get a mill. Fucking get going then. You've got four days. And uh, who's going to build the wall? The Mexicans. <laughs> I they're going to be the other side of the wall when the aliens come. <laughs> I reckon if there was contact, it'd be really boringly in between. I reckon the first time we ever get contact, it'll be a message we receive that we can't really decode, and we're going to spend twenty years trying to work out what that says. What would be? And the then it will be sending one back, which would take another hundred years. What would be the scariest long. thing you'd hear through that like message box or whatever? Like just a noise. English. Make the noise. Oh, English. I think. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just flicked, I just flicked a balloon. At oh him. my god! I was <laughs> fucking fully freaked. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Oh, Have you ever no, seen um, I am jumped up. I'm jumping. Real jumping. I'm real fucking jumping. What the fuck? So you were like, what would you actually say if they're actually coming out and then someone <laughs> fucking hit me in the face? I think if you heard English on the other side. <laughs> <You're> mate, <laughs> I'm seeing things behind me now. <laughs> fucking we're all getting jumping. real or, jumpy. Or, yeah. or like a human voice, like but speaking another language, like, oh, let me go, let me that scared like me that. the most. That's like what tongue, fucking made me jump. Tongue and mouth. Man. Softy you know going English. When yeah. they said that, I was like, oh, so that's like parallel universe. That is like, there are more people like us. Uh, you know, um, <gasps> have you seen another Earth? So go even further. <laughs> go Why even stop looking at things in the corner? <laughs> Why? You fucking what the fuck is out. that? No, don't get him Shh, fucking guys, started. Guys, just calm down, calm down. Yeah, so just, so yeah, Softy saying that really threw me off because I was like, I was thinking of weird noises. Yeah. Like, I was, I was going to go for this noise, to be honest. I was going to go for... Um, <laughs> that would, that would Your children are gonna die. Yeah, but when oh, you said kind of learn English, when you said simple English, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Imagine if you just heard someone going, "Hello." Well, the thing is, we they are from. But then you think he's a hoax. You'd be like, well, this is just some yeah. English. Guy. Well, Interstellar made me think about this a bit more. Like maybe the other life that we do find could be something from the future or the past. Yeah, like trapped on that planet that it's every second is a year. That kind of got me thinking. Do, do. Yeah, well, because w- <laughs> they say that coming the other way would be mere impossible but we don't know what what's going to happen in the next two million years i mean look how advanced we are in x amount of thousands years. Of, yeah like 100 years well when we start becoming humans really I, t- I can put an exact number on that so Probably okay like 250 so years but really we've only started advancing in like the past three thousand four thousand so say if it was english that was genuinely coming back to us we all believed it and we had proof that it was a weird english life form don't know how you prove that uh, sent from space, but it say for just argument's sake, if it was, what would the message be that would scare you? What would the actual kind of sentence? Um, stop now! Stop what? it! Stop <laughs> what you're doing! Stop it! <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> stop! Stop now! I think it, you've got it wrong. If the, if our future selves ever spoke back to us, because they had to, because I think they're smart enough not to do that. We are smart enough not to do, talk back to kind of fuck up the future. It would be to tell us not to do some kind of war. Or not Don't be, or upset not Putin. Yeah, or something like that. That's what <laughs> it would be. Don't accept Putin. <laughs> Don't accept him for what? Imagine though, if it was like alien. You know, when you meet that giant humanoid thing, and it's like slightly human looking, but it's like eight foot tall. What is this? Oh, is it like you're on about Prometheus? Uh, Prometheus, yeah. When they meet the yeah. kind of creators. Imagine if it was like that. Like we actually are DNA wise related Very to other similar, chimps yeah. in the universe. Like other monkeys all over the universe. Is it the Prometheus creature or is it the creators? What it's would the, I find? He's one of the creators, isn't he? But like, what's he part? Do you of know race? what I just thought? Like, imagine if we were actually on Earth with aliens. And oh the aliens shit! Yeah, were actually These AI. Bad boys. Yeah, that's them. No, oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Imagine if that was like. Oh shit! I forgot about this in Prometheus. God made us in the vision. Look at that! Look real cocky. <laughs> 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 oh, what the fuck is that? To be fair, they're pretty freaky. Yeah. You not you not find them freaky? I yeah. think things look slightly not like humans. <laughs> Do you know what I thought was more freaky and alien? The AI when it's like gargling like milk looking stuff, Do you know, in the first one. Where like he was actually a, a robot the whole time. Do you remember? Oh mate, yeah. You know what, the first alien? Like, yeah, the first alien when like the remember. robot guy was actually 
he I was uh, he remember. was trying to fuck over the whole shit. Oh the whole yeah, time. yeah, yeah. And then he like killed him and he gargled. Like that got me thinking that actually is the real like. Do you know like where uh, back in the day we've got these readings and drawings on like cave walls and aliens come down and all that shit. I think that actually it's AI and the humans are going to create that and that will be the I alien think that fucks what you're us up. What you're saying here is actually a, a very, very good point because I've got this subject bringing up at uni at the moment because I, I like doing artwork on like Androids and stuff. I think it's a cool concept and Westworld has really come up at yeah. a perfect time really. Yeah. <coughs> but I think that's a subject that's actually quite important that's not spoken about nowadays is how fast processes are becoming yeah. like managed and how f- quickly we're pumping those fuckers out. And how fast they're becoming faster than themselves. Mm. Eventually, there's going to be a point where we're going to crack the AI thing. Yeah. And we're already getting... We're going to give birth <laughs> to something. Oh, yeah. We've already got stupidly smart stuff like Google's is just phenomenal. Yeah. Like, Google's is just phenomenal. Its AI technology is absolutely insane. Once they start trying to get it to think for itself and yeah. trying to make choices for you oh, based scary. on your so scary. ideas and stuff like that, that's when it's going to start Definitely. I mean, clever. on a very simple level, <laughs> it blows my mind when I get in the car and it goes 55 minutes till home. 55 it worked out. You work. didn't set that setting. It knows. I know. That first time that happened, it, I was like, a week at it, uni, it worked out fuck? that I was that was my workplace. Yeah. Now. And now it knows now I it knows. go to the gym in the morning, so it goes <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes to your location. Your I'm like, your like, fuck! It knows I'm going to the gym. Well, then well, I get well, in the well, gym. How does it know that? If you said it, I thought you meant like so I, I have not touched anything. If you on have my common phone, routines, it picks it up on that day. I've never experienced this. What on your iPhone? Surely it tends to on my your work. Yeah. When I go from Skeg. At night, in the morning, it tells me it's 20 minutes to the gym. What? No. Without me weird? setting anything or yeah. nothing like that. It just goes 18 minutes traffic. What, just normal. randomly? It just yeah, says randomly. Yeah, mine does it as well. Mine pings up. Absolutely. When I get in the car, random. it's always when I'm near the car as well. Like it knows I'm near the car. It's when it Because my brother, when he turns on the van in the yard to go to the shop, my phone pings up and goes 55 minutes till home. Like it's done through the Bluetooth or something like that, I think. Oh, really? What so the when the phone it knows when you're in the car, it's connected it up. It knows, yeah, you're in a car. But ha- yeah, I can't believe. You- Why does your phone not automatically do it? Though? I don't think I want it to. It's fucking bizarre. But it knows it I go to recognise common gym. patterns of like where you're going and stuff. So if you have a gym routine and a work routine, it will work out those things at specific times. You were. But yeah, so um, but it got me thinking. Also, something else that I read or heard got me thinking. I was talking to Laura about it as well. Like all along, we've thought that like, well, people think that this is God or that um, there's this greater life and all that. And the humans are put on this as this great miracle and we're here to like reproduce and recreate and we are life and earth as itself. But what if we were actually put on this earth and created for the vessel to create AI and AI is the God. AI is the ultimate being. Wouldn't AI create AI though? If that was the case. Well, that's no, uh, but AI that's is not there yet. That's the key, isn't it? So are we just a little stepping stone? Well, we're well, not you said, you said AI. Whole... You said AI. I, I know what you're trying to get at, Rob. What you're saying is in- inevitably is... <coughs> okay, yeah, I know what you're trying to say. This is something I've read about before. So what you're trying to say is that life is inevitably going to turn into it, a, artificial intelligence. Which is the higher power, all-seeing, all-breathing, knows everything kind of yeah, super in, being. Inevitably, there's going to be a crossover. We think we're the all-power, yeah. all power, like, wow. The end goal isn't bodies. being uh, a fleshy, yeah. um, everlasting, like, not trying to crack the genes, like, trying to make us live longer and uh, crack the aging problem. The problem is going to be solved by us moving into technology. Into technology, and which, is a, which a, won't die. Which won't die. And you we can transfer our minds at the first point and yeah. then reproduce within technology. Because they, they say that this that's happened already. Have you heard of the, you know, the Matrix theory? Which is a lot of scientists think is fairly plausible, whether we're living in a Matrix. Yeah. yeah, they, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that could have Musk, happened. Elon Musk thinks that. 50 million that generations down. We could be the next one to go into the next one. Yeah. And inevitably, infinitely move on to the further it's one. It's definitely fun to think about. Yeah, I mean the the matrix. The it's film, a mathematical like problem, I think, because you, you can't. Well, it's ever the Fibonacci sequence. Like that's that's like a Fibonacci sequence is like a. Is uh, that the um, the guy on the? the <laughs> stop <laughs> freaking me out! I'm real jumpy. <laughs> I was saving that one for ages. I'm real jumpy. Yeah, the Fibonacci sequence is a series <laughs> is a series of numbers <laughs> where a number is found by adding up to the two numbers before it. Start with zero. Blah blah blah. It's like the the equation to everything. It's uh, crazy. These pat this yeah, this equation is literally if I was to share a monitor, this this equation is in literally everything. Oh right, yeah. 
Uh, and it, it, that's like symmetry of faces, butterflies. And well, those yeah. numbers and yeah. everything. Yeah, uh, I, I'm too stupid to even figure out. You learn out. about that in like photography as well, don't you? Yeah, if you, I don't know what that is. is that the rule of thirds or something like that? I can't remember what you call it. Fibonacci that. sequence is a series of numbers where a number is found by adding up to two numbers before it's starting at zero and one, then sequence goes zero, one, one, then two, three, five, eight, and so on. Written as a rule, this expression, blah, blah, blah. Names of Fibonacci sequence known as the Leonardo of Pisa. Yeah, man. Knowledge of numbers is said to have first originated yeah, from Hindu, blah, 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 blah. Fibonacci first noted the sequence of pondering mathematical problems around rabbit breeding, beginning with a male, female rabbit. Yeah, it, it's the basically it's the sequence to everything. Well, like yeah. life itself yeah. as well. And and you can, yeah, and uh, yeah, if you translate everything into maths. That's a bit like because that. Because they yeah. see patterns, they see mathematical patterns in fucking everything. Yeah. In but then I think everything. I think I think sometimes that there's something beautiful about that, and it's not. I don't think it's magic. I think it's just every everything comes down to numbers, doesn't it? Initially. Just makes Ever sense. Inevitably, everything comes down to numbers. Ooh, and on that note, maths I think is we the should, uh, maths is the soul that drives through the universe. I think. Uh, say that. Say that one more time, mate. Maths is the soul that drives the universe. That's fantastic. And on that note, numbers. We should guess how long we've been going for. One hour s- fourteen. I think one hour. Oh, actually, maybe longer. Twenty-one. Today. One hour and twenty-five minutes. Twenty-six now. That's, long that's, that's a yeah. long one. I changed my mind. I, I went through it in my head. And went, actually, yeah, we're getting longer. I think. We yeah, are. that's a long one. Oh. Oh, sweet. Did All right, thank you. Uh, Halloweeners. Halloweeners. Thanks for joining us, guys, on episode 17, a.k.a. the Halloween special. Happy Halloweeners. Hope you have a good Halloween, and uh, we'll leave you this creepy music and us doing a little uh, re- a rendition of Halloween music. Play us out, Rob. This is the podcast Halloween special. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. This is Halloween and it is the joining us, the dirty Halloween is joining us. <laughs> Thank you for joining, us. Thank you for joining, us. Thank you for joining, us. We're not Halloween for joining, us. joining us. Halloween us. Halloween us. Happy Halloween us. Happy Halloween us, penis.